So, good morning campers. What's the date today, man? 10th. Oh, 10th of July. And it's a blooming hot one. Which stuff? Cash in, cash in, cash in. Just for a change, are you? Petrol station first. No, oh, yeah, petrol station does help. Mind you, no golf treatment, so definitely can afford any petrol. Is your folks worth today? Starting off wandering through a nice little uh, graveyard. That's the public footpath. And there's teapot in a Canadian issue boonie hat. Courtesy of a certain Mr. Mr. Man. It's our first kissing gate of the day. Ooh, it's a fate or something. Off we go. That boonie hat was meant for me, but it's a bit too small. I'm not sure if I've got a big head or whether Tina's just shrunk in the wash since I've had her. She's certainly getting smaller. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, we've got our first cast of the day. The sun is well and truly out ablaze. Breath already. We come about a quarter of a mile. <laughs> oh dear. And the clue for this is baser post. <laughs> oh, there it is then. Nice little white film container. There's a log for that one. I shall uh, look on the blackberry for the next one. And the butterflies and dragonflies at this uh, time of year is absolutely unbelievable. Cabbage whites, I think you see a couple of red admirals as well. that attract them. It's the most amazing dragonfly that came past but I didn't catch it on camera unfortunately. I'm using the one cache and I'm hot bothered. I'm tired already. I've not even got a hangover this week. out here, do a bit of exercise, keep on with losing the weight, a bit to go yet, right. right. she's gone in, must be a cache down there at the base of that tree, oh. that was a quick one, yeah, you said base of tree, so base of tree, I'm not even camouflaged this time, are they? It was. Just need to sign and uh, stamp. Got a stamp because my handwriting's terrible. <laughs> I'm trying to write in all these little caches. Then we get back, we uh, just log it on geocaching.com to say we've been here. And our tally rises. Put that back and hide that strategically. Oh, do you know what? With that little uh, Canadian digi pattern hat there, uh, you nearly disappeared out of sight altogether, dear. Oh, there you go again. On the move. On the move. Left. <laughs> yeah. I've got my hat though. So I've got my hat. Uh -huh. My head would be burning. 
closer towards the transmitter. <laughs> mm -hmm. This just said tucked away. So we'd normally just look straight under the uh, little bridge. That said, how ah, wonder Tina. That tree over there. Mm -hmm. The boulder of that tree. No. The GPS sign. Oh. I've got new Batman. <laughs> oh, I can get through. Yeah. <laughs> from that rock. Mm. Anyway, the rock in front of it. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> <laughs> That's full of, <laughs> full of thorns. <laughs> Bad enough cuts from the blooming cat this week. Oh. And we're off, no? Oh. Was oh. it rough down that way in the shade? Mind. We should go back into the full glare of the sun again then. She's disappeared, I'm hoping she's gone down here somewhere. See a bush moving. <laughs> and there we have the lesser spotted Tina in the uh, in the bush. <laughs> I suddenly looked up and you'd gone. <laughs> it was just, just sort of the uh, footpaths on there. They come left. They come through. I couldn't see anything. I just saw that this bush move a little bit. <laughs> oh. Take the camera hat off you. I can't see you. on this one, pick two or three up on the way back to Peterborough, but uh, well, this weather's changeable, it's still hot though, it's a glorious July English summer, just what we need, a bit of sunshine, a bit of a day, feeling great. Right. Clue for this was where there's music, we just found that hidden under the uh, footbridge. Any trouble is that kind of container's not very waterproof. Is the logbook dry? Yeah. Yeah. Whereas the actual CD case itself is uh, a little bit on the damp side, but what we do is leave that slightly propped open and it'll dry out. Come through some lovely stables. Look on the seats. Just heading up past that gorgeous cottage there. A couple of people, a couple of people. Horses when I left home. Say hello. Say hello, teapot. Hello there. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, gorgeous, aren't they, hey? Dapple grey. No, you're a bit more shy. I don't blame you. 
No, no sugar lumps for you. <laughs> I feel like the horse whisperer now. I'm not ignoring you, honestly. You see my back back out you think you got something to feed you with. I'm afraid not. So there's not too much on the telly, so a couple of people getting past in there. Beautiful. Right. I'm two beautiful creatures to another. There's my wifey up ahead. <laughs> but of course the hunkster behind. <laughs> if you've just seen the look at this game. Mm -mm -mm. Not your place, boy. And at last we're going through a little bit of a shaded forest bit. Got this uh, gate somewhere. Magnetic now. Oh, magnetic Yeah. We. I remember this bit now. Back in the village of Folksworth. Sat by the village pond. Oh, we sat there. Oh, looks a bit lanky, but. <laughs> Cash up from that ivy covered tree. Like that right. And off we go. We've got a couple more to do, haven't we? Well, that's nearly done. Let's go pick up the last one. Come back through the village. done in uh, Folksworth yesterday. I've sort of jumped around, only about four miles, so easy peasy. 